Hello Power News Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Lightning Storm, the series where lightning always strikes twice as we talk about everything that has happened in the past week for the Power News Lightning Collection. Now, today's video might look a little bit different, not only am I standing up in this video for the first time in a while uh, because my chair is preoccupied with other things, this is actually going to be the first ever Toku Topics video to be posted on my being edited by and being posted on my new computer. I have upgraded from a PC to a iMac now and have also upgraded editing software because of that as well. So, and also I had to recreate all of my assets uh, for Lightning Storm and things like that in the new editor, which I actually think is a benefit because uh, it gives me a chance to kind of update some Because it gives me a chance to kind of update some things and kind of make things a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get into this week's episode of Lightning Storm. So first up this week we actually have some brand new pre-order dates or shipment dates that have changed on the GameStop specifically for pretty much all the stuff that was announced at the Fan First Friday on May 14th. Uh, so when we saw the Fan First Friday announcements, they talked about obviously versus PAX Wave 2 and the rest of A Squad, and those were all slated for September or October releases. It didn't exactly correlate with Power Month, but now, on according to GameStop site, they are going to be actually arriving a little earlier. I mean, of course, it's GameStop, and they don't always follow that date, but they moved up the versus packs from October until August 19th. They moved up A Squad Red and Yellow from October to July 20th. Wave 9, which was not part of the Fan First Friday stuff, has been moved up until July 12th, although technically, I mean, Wave 9 is out, but you know, online retailers are figuring it all out still. But then I guess technically the biggest and most important piece of it there, sort of, is A Squad Pink, which is a GameStop exclusive, has been moved up to August 9th on GameStop site which would actually put A Squad Pink finally, properly, in August for the Power Month celebration, and gives further credence to the idea that she is part of the GameStop Pink Ranger capsule, even though they did not specifically state that at the Fan First Friday, although I feel like it's a pretty good assumption at this point to assume that. So yeah, we'll see what happens if they actually ship closer to those dates, or closer to the original Hasbro Pulse dates that they showed off on the Fan First Friday. We'll just have to wait and see until like July, August time frame. Although, I figure, you know, the way the Lightning Collection usually works, they'll probably pop, I mean, they'll definitely pop up, I'm sure, earlier than October and definitely earlier than September and such. Uh, but we'll just have to see, you know, when do they actually appear. I briefly mentioned Wave 9 there in the last segment, and we have a tiny little bit of Wave 9 news. I always like to discuss this whenever he does it. But Tom Whalen has updated his website gallery once again to include the artworks for Wave 9 so we get the full proper box art, you know, not it being kind of cut off by the side of the box or anything like that. We get to see the full artworks for the Lost Galaxy Blue Ranger, In Space Black Ranger, SPD Green Ranger, and the Mighty Morphin Tanga figure that make up Wave 9. So it's really cool that he released those. Uh, he hasn't released his Wave 8 artworks yet, which is kind of strange. Uh, that he jumped right to 9, I mean, whatever he wants to do it. Uh, but really cool that we got to see the Wave 9 artworks there, and I like, can't wait to see him post all the other ones, uh, for especially like all the Fan Fest ones, you know, all, or, or not, well, actually, yeah, but the, <laughs> the, the Century and things like that. Uh, but just, you know, all the ones that we haven't gotten yet. So, uh, always love when he does it. So, thank you, Tom, for updating the site and giving us a really good look at the four artworks. Love it as always. Our next story here is going to be kind of the biggest one of this week, one that I'm sure is probably something exciting for a lot of people who have been holding out hope for this to happen. They are going to be restocking a couple of the rarest figures in the Lightning Collection here within the next couple of months. Stores are putting up pre-orders for certain ones of, of the ones that have become the rarest, which is really, really great because uh, prices are skyrocketing for a lot of them. And, you know, they tend to be the core Mighty Morphin team. For the most part, pretty much all the rarest figures in the line are the core Mighty Morphin Rangers. Uh, I think besides White, who just got to re-release in Wave 7, all of the other ones are hard to get at this point. Uh, Blue's selling out, Black is hard to find, Yellow is really hard to find, although she's getting re-released with Aisha, and Pink is impossible, and Green is pretty hard to find as well. So what have they, or what are they restocking? Well, they're restocking Yellow, Black, and Pink. Of course, Pink being the most important one. Uh, these popped up on Entertainment Earth this past week. I th actually, I think 
black and yellow have been up there for a little bit of time, uh, but since pink was kind of the whole point of even talking about this here today, uh, yellow and black, I, I saw that they were there, and so I figured I might as well point it out. Uh, so the earliest one there, I believe these are all still up for pre-order. Last time I checked, they all still were. Uh, so there'll be a link in the description below to Entertainment Earth if you guys still need to pre-order them. Mighty Morphin Black is going to be getting a re-release from them in June of 2021, so just sometime next month, so not too far away here. He actually comes and goes in stock on Amazon occasionally. There's one uh, Twitter user who has been really helpful and always posting that, always tagging me there. I try to retweet it uh, most of the times that I see it because uh, it kind of goes really quickly, so I don't always catch it. Uh, but occasionally he comes back in stock there. And then this August, they're going to be re-releasing Mighty Morphin Yellow on Entertainment Earth. Now. This August, around that time frame, we'll be getting this exact same figure again with the Aisha and Scorpina 2-pack. So if you don't really care about like the civilian heads, because this is the only way to get Trini's head. So if you don't really care about that part, you could just get the 2-pack and skip this. The only thing you're going to be missing out on is the fact that you, well, you get the Trini head here. You're not going to get Tom's artwork, the, the single release style. Also, the effect pieces are the same, but they're different colors. In the original release, they are two yellow ones for the power daggers, and in the new one, they're two kind of like reddish, almost pinkish ones. But speaking of pink, the most important one, the one that people want the most, the prices for her have just like completely skyrocketed on eBay and such to like $200 at times, like $70, $80, even like $100 without even the box, which like absolutely insane. And while there is the metallic version out there on Pulse right now. Of course, it's not the one that people want to complete their collection because they want the proper Lego Peck one. Uh, and also, they want the Kimberly head, understandably so. And that is Mighty Morphin Pink, who will finally be getting a restock on Entertainment Earth and actually some other retailers in October of 2021. So you just have to wait a couple months there, but you will, able, you will be able to pre-order her for the regular retail price. Well, actually, not the re regular. It's the new retail price for Lightning Collection, so the $22.99 price and not the $19.99 old price, but still a lot better than like the $70 to $200 she's going for there. And while international fans usually get screwed out on this, I was uh, made aware that Mighty Morphin Pink in particular is actually being up for pre-order at the UK store, Sonner Toys. So if you, I'll also put the link in the description there, live in the UK, Sonner Toys is there. Also one thing I want to mention, I don't think I've mentioned it here. Some people have noticed the fact that there's like a dummy empty slot for a Mighty Morphin Pink figure on Hasbro Pulse that doesn't really seem to lead anywhere. And I think the original page for the original release, so the original, you know, stock of it is gone. So some people were speculating, you know, they're going to refresh that page to bring her back for pre-order or something. That very well could happen, especially now that we've seen it on Entertainment Earth and Sonar Toys and things like that. I would say it's not out of the realm of possibility that they will put her back up for pre-order on Pulse. So I'll keep an eye on that, see, see what happens with that. But for now, Entertainment Earth is probably going to be your best bet if you're in the US and stuff. Sonar Toys in the UK, I'm sure there's probably other retailers. If anyone has one that they know of, they can send it my way. I'll retweet it and everything. Uh, but hopefully you can finally get a proper, nope, a proper Mighty Morphin Pink figure in your collection for not $200. That would be, that would be uh, appreciated, I'm sure. So there it is. There's Chance. Alright, so this next story here is just going to be three little things I don't really know what to put them as, like, as particular categories, so this just kind of be, like, future figure talk, I suppose. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to talk about here was something very strange. This was uh, sent to me the other night uh, by Ranger Select. I don't really have an explanation for it, it's odd, but Amazon Australia put up the Transformers figure Black Zarek. No idea who that is. But they listed it on Amazon Australia as... PRG BLT Val Mercury, also known as our unknown Green Ranger figure from Wave 10. Very weird, so yeah, I'll put up a screenshot of it here. The Val Mercury code is only listed here on this product on the Amazon Australia page. If you change it to like Amazon, I think Italy and Frank, all the other ones, it will take you to the proper Transformers Black Zarek page and not the BLG, uh, PRT BLG. Oh wow, I'm screwing that up badly. The Val Mercury one. So yeah, it's weird. I think it's just obviously some weird typo thing, uh, but I guess it does kind of technically have Veil Mercury in the Amazon system, which I'm sure it's there. I'm sure Wave 10 is in there somewhere. We just haven't found the URLs from them yet. I mean, they're in the Walmart system and such. No reason to believe why they wouldn't be there. 
Uh, but yeah, just something weird that was said my way. I just thought it was kind of interesting to discuss there. Nothing to really read in there. Not really even that much of news, to be honest with you. Another thing I wanted to say, also not really news, but what was pointed out to me uh, last weekend as well, when I was talking about all the codes on the list of listings 3.0, the ones that were like clerk and, you know, Knight and all the other random ones on that big list. Uh, if you didn't see the list, uh, you can check out last week's episode. I'm not really going to go over it again. Uh, but they were pointed out that I was pointed out to me that a lot of the codes there were the different characters in the Canterbury Tales, which, uh, yeah, I don't know how I didn't notice that. I when was the last time I read that? I think I had to read that in like some at some point in high school. I think it was like my sophomore year of high school. I had to read part of that or something. I found it quite boring to be honest, and I didn't recall much of any of it at all. So I didn't really put it together. Most of the codes were from that story. So if they have, hey, I don't know if they have anything to do with that. That's uh, probably just some weird way of coding them. But I guess it makes a little bit more sense now, where a lot of the codes are kind of grouped together at. Uh, so who knows? Maybe the ones that are all following that story pattern are something like they, like grouped together for some particular reason, and the ones that don't really fit the character rules from the story are maybe something else. Uh, it's still really kind of unknown what those are yet and really kind of difficult to figure out anything about them. So that's all. I don't really have any updates on the list. I just thought that was kind of interesting to point out. But one thing I there is not really updates of either. It doesn't necessarily pertain to the Lightning Collection necessarily. But going back to that blaster tease again, uh, we have slight evidence to suggest that maybe it actually is the Phantom Ranger. Uh, so people were doing some searches on the U.S. trademark search database thing. You can basically search for like what copyrights and trademarks are officially registered in the U.S. and such. And Hasbro just finished, I guess, I don't know if they got approved or how, how it works, but they at least currently own as of, I think it was May 16th, so only like last week or so, uh, they apparently now own the trademark to Phantom Ranger, and in the trademark like description, it specifically mentions action figures. Now, obviously, they don't have to do action figures there. I think it also applied to like just other kinds of merchandise. But we do have that blaster tease that a lot of people are on Team Phantom on there with that one. So honestly, I mean, we're going to get a Phantom Ranger in the Lightning Collection someday. He's such a fan favorite character. There's no way they're not going to do him. And with Frank Gogol's uh, Edge of Darkness com comic coming out in June, it would be a nice, perfect time to tie it into that. They have been known to tie releases into other things going on in the brand before, so it would not be super surprising. So, yeah, just something interesting there with that trademark, the codes, and that weird Amazon listing. And uh, that's all I got with that one. Tinfoil hat time again. It's been a minute since I brought this one out. It's actually the same tinfoil hat as last time. I just had it sitting in a box next to here, so now it's even more crumbled up. Anyway, the point is, uh, bringing back the tinfoil hat here for just weird conspiracy uh, theory time again. There was a tweet made this past week, I guess it was like Turtle Day or something? That's a thing, I guess. Uh, but the Power Rangers Twitter account tweeted out about that and posted pictures of the Ninja Turtles in their ranger forms from the Boom Studios crossover last year. And then the Ninja Turtles official account replied to that tweet and basically said something like, oh, you know, what got your backs, Rangers and stuff on, what was it, Radical Ranger Day or whatever. Now, the reason why the tinfoil hat's on here is because obviously we have the TMNT 2 pack listings out there. They posted the picture of the Ninja Turtles in their Ranger forms on the Power Rangers Twitter account. The TMNT account replied, obviously. So, you know, it can just be some fun brand things, especially because they both air on Nickelodeon and such like that. Uh, but we do know that they seem to be working together for those two packs. And uh, interestingly, I think, did they say specifically August in the Ninja Turtles tweet? I know people were thinking like, oh, are they going to wait until August to reveal the packs? I don't think they're going to wait until August to reveal the packs because the list of listings 2.0 says that they come out on August 1st. And if they come out August 1st and they reveal them in August, what are they doing? Granted, we could have a Dino Thunder White situation on our hands where it comes out two months prior to when they got announced. Uh, but who knows? Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I, I feel like, honestly, I feel like we'll probably get a Fan First Friday in like June, maybe July at the latest to reveal like the TMNT packs, Wave 10, maybe Monsters Wave 2 if those didn't, didn't get canned and uh, that stuff. So, well, we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, just kind of fun, kind of interesting to see the two brands interacting together on Twitter with over a picture of something that we speculate is coming to the Lightning Collection 
Good to see you. All right, we are going to wrap this episode up here with a lightning strike of the week. And this one comes from Twitter user Felix Jesus Hearn 2 who posts a really cool picture of the whole Mighty Morphin team in the Lightning Collection here. Always cool to see that we have like a full team here. I, they mentioned how it like brought them into collecting the Lightning Collection and everything with the Mighty Morphin team. So that's really cool and always awesome to see here. So thank you for sending that in for the Lightning Strike of the Week here. I like seeing people's displays and poses and everything and I like how they incorporated the Tom Whalen box art in the background always. I think it makes for a perfect display of Lightning Collection because you know you have the box, you have the figure, they go together. Makes sense. All right, well, that is going to do it for this week's episode of Lightning Storm. Thank you all for watching this week's episode. As always, let me know down in the comments below what do you think is going on with those codes still. You know, do you think the Team NT kind of tweet was kind of, uh, you know, hinting towards something that we already kind of know is happening, I guess, anyway. But, you know, was it a teaser to that or something? And, uh, you know, just, you know, did you get Money Morphin Pink already? Or are you holding out hope for something like this to happen? I know a lot of people were. I've gotten a lot of DMs. And things like that of asking if I had any idea if this was going to happen at some point and I'm glad that it finally is uh, because people deserve to finish their MMPR teams so now hopefully they re-release red someday I think red is the one that's the rarest at this point now uh, I think so or that or green so we'll see what happens with those but yep that's all I got thank you for watching like I just said you can follow me on Twitter at two different places at Living Ranger Key or at Lightning Fake PR I'll see you all next time for the next episode of Lightning Storm the series for Lightning Always strikes twice. See you all later.